Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Pinterest, and especially over on ZachJackDan.com for all the photos you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every McFarland Toys video. This one talking about Every Mirrorverse McFarland Toys. And if you haven't already done so, jump on over to Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description or in the card above, and check out all these Mirrorverse McFarland Toys figures in all different scales, 5, 7, and 12 inch statues. So for those of you not familiar with Disney Mirrorverse, a visual stunning new action role playing game for mobile set in an all new Divergent Disney Universe. Players assemble teams of amplified, action-ready 3D Disney and Pixar characters to battle against a dark force. So McFarlane has done this in two different scales so far, and there is a third scale coming soon of a 12-inch scale, solely that is showing up soon. So it'll be like a mega scale figure, $39.99. Uh, so you get the 5-inch scale, $12.99 each, and the 7-inch scale, $19.99 each. And so six figures do we see so far. So if you love Disney, you might like these action figures. We'll see, right? So first off, here is your Belle action figure. Got the cape here with the rose on the back and her staff with the rose in it as well. Really cool. Got to love the princesses. And each one of them does come with a card. Now, surprisingly, I don't see where he's putting a figure stand in these, which usually he does. So this is one of the 5-inch scale figures, and the cards will look different between the 5-inch and the 7-inch. Here's the front, back, and side of that card. And again, pre-orders did go up already, so if you guys haven't got those out there, hopefully you'll find them in the store then. Here's your goofy figure with his nice boomerang. Boomerang does store in his back as well, so that's really cool. Does again come with the card. Front, back, and side of the package. And I don't know anything about the game, but you do see up at the top it says Goofy is ranged, so he has range in his uh, battle attacks, I guess. Next, we have our Mickey Mouse or Sorcerer Mickey. Kind of got that angry look on his face there. He is a support figure here, if you look at the card. Got the nice crystal weapon. Front back and side of the card. McFarlane does amazing on his ACBA artwork here on his, his shots. And then we have our Sully figure. Look at the Sully from the back there. He's got a nice tail coming off. Got the nice weaponry on him as well. Got the angry look on his face. And he is tank mode, whatever that means. I wouldn't have minded having another head sculpt on this guy. If you look at the card with his teeth, that would have been really nice. Front back inside of that package. So that is the 5-inch scale wave one. So let's jump into the 7-inch scale. You got your Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. Front back inside of this figure. Got the wings that will expand or plug in, I guess. Really cool if he would have come with a flight stand, though. There's the wings out. Hey, look, he comes with a regular stand, which the 5-inch scale figures did not. He's showing that he is ranged. You can see the box here is more similar to the other 7-inch scale lines that he has. Front back and side of that package. And looking at the back here, it's actually interesting. It looks like there are two different variants of the Jack Sparrow coming. 
So that'd be cool. And here is your Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean? Caribbean? However you want to say it. Look at his uh, right arm. It's actually a bone with some weapon coming off of it. So that's pretty cool. I definitely don't see Johnny Depp in this head sculpt, but I don't know if they were supposed to with this game. He is support. And again, look at the back of the package and you do see that variant Jack Sparrow. So that'll be really cool whenever that comes out and we see it. So we had that shadow showing off what we were going to be getting. And of course it was these two figures. And that is what we have for the 7 inch scale so far. So that is all of the 7 inch and 5 inch figures shown together right here. So here we go finally with wave 2 of the McFarlane Toys Disney Mirrorverse figures. So let's start off with our 5 inch scale from wave 2 and you got your Sully fractured figure. So our second iteration of Sully in this, in this 5 inch scale and this time it is the villain version. You see he does come with his card as well. He's got his door shield. So from the game, these fractured figures are a dark entity created by the evil force trying to destroy the mirrorverse. So you've got that dark tech armor. And there it is from the back with the details there, showing his tail off. And again with that door shield there on his arm. And here's the package from all different angles. So next in the 5 inch scale for wave 2 is the Donald Duck. You see his hat on there sideways, got these gauntlets on his arms, shoulder and chest armor there. And he's got his card as well. And this weapon he's got here is called his axe. So very interesting there. You see the figure from the side and from the back and the other side. You can see his tail on the back there. And again with his packaging. And then the third and last five inch figure in this wave two is Baloo. You see Baloo with his hat and his goggles on his hat, hat there. He's got this big weapon there, which is a propeller. It comes with a card. And he's got this massive arm there on the right hand side. So there you see he's also got some kind of a jetpack on his back. He's got his bomber jacket on zipped up. And there you can see that jetpack and his belt from the back. And Baloo's packaging. So again, there's all three of Wave 2's 5-inch scale in package and loose. So let's jump into the 7-inch scale for Wave 2. And you got from Aladdin, you have Genie here. Got his beard, his hair sticking up, smiling face, all kinds of jewelry on. Again, with the card he comes with, there you see him out of his base. And that magic base is considered a swirling magic base. You see the figure from all different angles with his large cape there. And the 7 inch scale box for this wave 2. Now notice on the back of the box you only see Genie there. You don't see the second figure that comes in wave 2. So here's that second figure. It is Captain Jack Sparrow Fractured. You 
can see it does with, come with the base, the effect, and the card. Look at his nice bone arm there, all eat up. And that dark energy slides right over that malevolent skeleton arm. You see his long hair in the back. His hat on his head. He's kind of happy looking though for him to be a fractured. And you see that with this box, he is a gold label McFarlane toy. And if you look at the back there, you do see he's actually pretty much going to be considered Wave 1, even though this is showing up as Wave 2, because he's got the figures from Wave 1 there on the back of his package. So there's both these Wave 2 revealed 7-inch in package and loose. And then we'll jump into the 12 inch. Now, of course, originally I said in this video that the 12 inch were actually figures, but no, they are not. They're 12 inch statues. So here is the Mickey Mouse. Comes with a huge base and stand. So he can actually fly here. He's got the card as well. And he's got his star crystal with the effects. So here he is from both sides in the front. And then from the back, you can see that beautiful detail in his cape. There's his picture of his package from the front and the back. And you again see that the card is there by itself in the back. So this was technically probably supposed to be the only statue in Wave 2. Because Sully, as I said before, was going to be Wave 1 and we never saw him. There's the other side of the package with that artwork. And then here is our Sully. So you see that big old door shield, his base, and his card. Figure from the side. From the other side in the back. Again, these are statues, so no action. And then there's his package. And of course, as I said, you can see that his card is on there by itself. So that would have been a wave one, but it was re released late, I guess. And so there's both 12 inch statues in package and loose. So that is our wave two. And of course, like I said, there's a couple of them that are repaints with the 5-inch Sully and the 7-inch Captain Jack Sparrow. But you got all kinds of different scales that McFarlane's trying to give you here to be able to collect. So here are all Wave 1 and Wave 2 5-inch loose. And in package. And here's all Wave 1 and Wave 2 7 inch loose. And in package. During the Winter Showcase 2022, Day 4 Encore, didn't even know who was going to be getting this. Showed off that we we're getting some Mirrorverse stuff. First off, showing the 7-inch Maleficent and Captain Hook. This wave should also have some 5-inch figures as well. We'll talk about here in a second. All right, so during the McFarlane Toys Summer Showcase 2022, we got little teases here of Mirrorverse, Disney, and Anger, and Baymax. Never saw anything else for a while, but here we go. We'll show you off what else we have in this wave and what scale these two are. Oh my gosh, I love Maleficent. This is awesome. So let's start off talking about our 7-inch scale. And here is Maleficent. You can see the card she comes with. She comes with some kind of a back piece there. And then also her, her staff. You see the wings on her. And she's holding her staff. Got the wings spread. Attached to the arms. 
And there's that piece. You'd actually attach it to the bottom side of her cape. So it gives it that long effect there. So that's pretty cool looking right there, especially from the back. And there she's in the package from all sides. And showing on the back, you see a card for Captain Hook as well. Captain Hook looking regal as ever, and I'll talk about his jacket here in a second. So here is Captain Hook. You can see the card, the base, the sword. You see his hook is on his left hand there. Him holding his sword there up close. Got the nice long mustache, the hat on his head. Here he is from the side and the back and then the front as well. You see that he actually has the gator or a gator as part of his jacket. That is awesome looking. This goes down his, his, uh, his arm there with the head and then got the rest of his body there around him. That is awesome. I should say it's probably a croc. But there he is in package, and again on the back of his package, since these are the two 7-inch figures for this line, you see Maleficent on his. And as I already talked about with the T's from this wave, we have the Anger and Baymax coming too. So jumping down to the ones we knew about, we did not know what scale they were, I don't think, maybe we did, but I didn't. But this is the 5-inch scale from Inside Out Anger figure. Comes with a flame effect for his hand. There's his card from the sides and the front. Got his blue jeans on with a belt. And there it is from the back. The flame effect coming out of his head as well. And there it is in package. And on the back of that package, you do see the two cards for both Baymax and Anger. And so here is Baymax as well in the five inch scale from Big Hero 6. Got a couple little stickers there on his belly. Smiley face, go, go. And there he is from the front and the sides. Got a little heart thing on his right arm there. Like a kitty cat or something on the bottom of his belly. A band-aid on his other hand. And then there he is from the back. And then there is his package again. Showing on the back there the cards for both Baymax and Anger. So that's all for the figures for this wave. Of course, the scale is not right because you got seven inch on the left and five inch on the right. And then there they are in package. So here are some gold labels. Very interesting choices here. We'll talk about here in a second. But here's your gold label Buzz Lightyear Glow in the Dark, seven inch. Limited edition, only it says 3,000 pieces right there, but that is not going to be right. Maybe it is. So it's got 3,000 pieces right there as well. Amazon exclusive. Yep. See his wings are spread. You see he does glow in the dark. But yeah, right here, showing 2,100 pieces instead. So I'm not sure which one it is, 2,100 or 3,000. Front and back of that package, side of the package, inside the package, showing him laid out there with his card and his backpack and his flight and his uh, figure stand. Again, this guy's got wings, so why in the world would he not get a flight stand? Not sure, but he's got your certificate showing it is 2100 instead of 3000. Glow in the dark edition. Wing spread, side by side, from the back, and Proud Buzz Lightyear. Glowing in the dark. Nice little video showing this thing off. Again, that box right there shows 3,000 pieces as well. Not sure which one it's going to be. 3,000 or 2,100. There it is from the inside. The figure itself with the card. And the certificate. Glowing in the dark. The wings there looking really good glowing. On the figure stand as well. Buzz Lightyear, Glow in the Dark Edition, Amazon Exclusive Gold Label. I also have another Gold Label, Gold Label, Amazon Exclusive, 3-pack here with a 7-inch scale aerial and two 5-inch scales with 
Bale, and Mulan. There's the package front and back. And the three figures. And that is the fractured bale. Yeah, I'm not sure why you put a 7-inch figure with two 5-inch figures myself. That's just me, though. But there they are with their accessories. There's 7-inch aerial with their flight stand. Or in this case, swimming stand. It looks like the tail does have some um, bendy wire in it. And there is Mulan and Fractured Bale from the front and side and from the back and side. And here you go with a nice little round video of the three figures and their scale difference. And here's Todd with another three pack here. Gold label, Amazon exclusive, and again mixing scales with the seven inch Goofy and five inch Genie and Scrooge McDuck. So yeah, three pack, you see the package in the background, you see the size difference in the figures. There's a little nice roundabout showing those figures off. Scrooge with a jet pack or something on the back there, Genie with a poof smoke and then Goofy having his boomerang. Here's the package front and back. Genie is tank, Scrooge is support, Goofy is ranged. There's the back of that package. And there they are scale wise and all the accessories they come with. Scrooge with his cane. Goofy has the actual figure stand and that boomerang. So there you see them from the side and the front. And then the other side and the back. There's Scrooge's jetpack. He's got his top hat on. And here's Goofy from all angles. He has the holster in the back to hold his boomerang as well. I do have to say I would have loved that these three had been fractured versions of these characters. Because those look amazing. So guys, what do you think? Are you interested in his Mirrorverse stuff that McFarlane's doing? Do you like what he's done with these designs, uh, with these toys? Do you like the game? Have you played it? Let me know about the game. I don't know anything about it. Uh, leave any kind of comments, guys. Hit the notification bell so you're aware of any vi new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Pinterest, and especially over on ZachJackDan.com for all the photos you want of these videos.